Access your free language gifts right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Learning to Cook Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn all the must-know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, how to talk about your weekend. If you can't talk about your weekend plans, then this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn the must know phrases like sleep, hang out with friends, play video games, and much more. Fourth, how to count from zero to 100. Do you know how to count from one to 10? How about to 100? This quick word list will get you mastering numbers in just a minute. Fifth, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. Do you know all of these verbs? If not, this lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. Sixth, our big collection of language learning audiobooks. Want free access to our huge library of beginner level audiobooks? Then click the link below. Save the audiobooks to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with real lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning system, get 40% off premium or premium plus with the Epic sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Rish. Rice. Rish. Rish. Rice. Rish is ważnym źródłem węglowodanów w wielu dietach. Rice is an important source of carbohydrates in many diets. Rish is ważnym źródłem węglowodanów w wielu dietach. Chleb. Bread. Chleb. Chleb. Bread. W każdą niedzielę rano kupujemy chleb, ciasto i ciastka w piekarni. Every Sunday morning we buy bread, cake and cookies at the bakery. W każdą niedzielę rano kupujemy chleb, ciasto i ciastka w piekarni. Jajko. Egg. Jajko. Jajko. Egg. Kucharz smaży jajko. The cook is frying an egg. Kucharz smaży jajko. Makaron. Noodle. Makaron. Makaron. Noodle. Makaron instant to popularny, lekki posiłek. Instant noodles are a popular light meal. Makaron instant to popularny, lekki posiłek. Budzik. Alarm clock. Budzik. Budzik. Alarm clock. Budzik jest nastawiony na piątą rano. The alarm clock is set for 5 a.m. Budzik jest nastawiony na piątą rano. Drzwi. Door. Drzwi. Drzwi. Dor. Wyjdźmy z domu tylnymi drzwiami. 
Let's leave through the back door of the house. Wyjdźmy z domu tylnymi drzwiami. Pilot. Remote control. Pilot. Pilot. Remote control. Mężczyzna wyłącza telewizor pilotem. The man is turning off the TV with the remote control. Mężczyzna wyłącza telewizor pilotem. Wycierać. Wipe. Wycierać. Wycierać. Wipe. Nie zapomnij wytrzeć podłogi. Don't forget to wipe the floor. Nie zapomnij wytrzeć podłogi. Menu. 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 Czy mogę zobaczyć menu? Can I see the menu, please? Czy mogę zobaczyć menu? Magazyn. Magazine. Magazyn. 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 Kobieta czyta magazyn. The woman is reading a magazine. Kobieta czyta magazyn. Audiobook. 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 Słucham audiobooków w czasie dojazdów do pracy. I listen to audiobooks during my commute to work. Słucham audiobooków w czasie dojazdów do pracy. Gra wideo. Video game. Gra wideo. Gra wideo. Video game. Mam zamiar kupić nową grę wideo w ten weekend. I'm going to buy a new video game this weekend. Mam zamiar kupić nową grę wideo w ten weekend. Tani. Cheap. Tani. Tani. Cheap. Zegarek nie jest tani. The wrist watch is not cheap. Zegarek nie jest tani. Drogi. Expensive. Drogi. Drogi. Expensive. Dom jest drogi. A house is expensive. Dom jest drogi. Miły. Kind. Miły. Miły. Kind. Podarowanie kwiatka straszej pani to bardzo miły gest. Giving the elderly woman flowers is a kind act. Podarowanie kwiatka starszej pani to bardzo miły gest. Straszny. Scary. Straszny. Straszny. Scary. Nienawidzę strasznych filmów. I hate scary movies. Nienawidzę strasznych filmów. Odprężający. 
relaxing. Odprężający. Odprężający. Relaxing. Muzyka jest odprężająca. Music is relaxing. Muzyka jest odprężająca. Funt. Pound. Funt. Funt. Pound. Jeden funt to 16 uncji. One pound is 16 ounces. Jeden funt to 16 uncji. Mila. Mile. Mila. Mila. Mile. Jedna mila to mniej więcej 1,6 km. One mile is roughly 1,6 km. Jedna mila to mniej więcej 1,6 km. Stopa. Foot. Stopa. Stopa. Foot. Stopa ma 12 cali. There are 12 inches in a foot. Stopa ma 12 cali. Choroba. Illness. Choroba. Choroba. Illness. Strasznie schudłem przez chorobę. I lost a lot of weight because of the illness. Strasznie schudłem przez chorobę. Przeziębienie. Cold. Przeziębienie. Przeziębienie. Cold. To tylko przeziębienie. It's just a cold. To tylko przeziębienie. Rana. Injury. Rana. Rana. Injury. Dziewczyna odniosła niewielkie rany. The girl has a minor injury. Dziewczyna odniosła niewielkie rany. Lekarstwo. Medicine. Lekarstwo. Lekarstwo. Medicine. Lekarz przepisał mi lekarstwo na ból brzucha. The doctor gave me medicine for my stomach pain. Lekarz przepisał mi lekarstwo na ból brzucha. Ból. Pain. Ból. Ból. Pain. Tę kobietę coś boli. The woman is in pain. Tę kobietę coś boli. Gorączka. Fever. Gorączka. Gorączka. Fever. Mam gorączkę. I have a fever. Mam gorączkę. Okno. Window. Okno. Okno. Window. Dlaczego patrzysz przez okno? Why are you looking through the window? Dlaczego patrzysz przez okno? Alkohol. Alkohol. 
alkohol. Alkohol. Alkohol. Te napoje zawierają alkohol. Those drinks contain alcohol. Te napoje zawierają alkohol. Posiłek. Meal. Posiłek. Posiłek. Meal. W restauracji zjedliśmy posiłek z pięciu dań. At the restaurant we had a five course meal. W restauracji zjedliśmy posiłek z pięciu dań. Mgła. Fog. Mgła. Mgła. Fog. Miasto spowija mgła. The city is covered in fog. Miasto spowija mgła. Grat. Hail. Grat. Grat. Hail. Pada grat. Hail is falling. Pada grat. Burza z piorunami. Thunderstorm. Burza z piorunami. Burza z piorunami. Thunderstorm. Nadchodzi burza. A thunderstorm is approaching. Nadchodzi burza. Akwarium. 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 Uwielbiam patrzeć na wszystkie ryby pływające w akwarium. I love to watch all the fish swim at the aquarium. Uwielbiam patrzeć na wszystkie ryby pływające w akwarium. Piłka nożna. Soccer. Piłka nożna. Piłka nożna. Soccer. Piłka nożna jest najpopularniejszym sportem na świecie. Soccer is the world's most popular sport. Piłka nożna jest najpopularniejszym sportem na świecie. Zo. Zu. Zo. Zo. Zu. Żyrafy zjadają liście z drzewa w zo. The giraffes are eating leaves from a tree in the zoo. Żyrafy zjadają liście z drzewa w zo. Opłata. Fair. Opłata. Opłata. Fair. Opłata za podróż w obie strony pozwoli mi pojechać tam i z powrotem. The run trip fare will get me there and back again. Opłata za podróż w obie strony pozwoli mi pojechać tam i z powrotem. Przystanek autobusowy. Bus stop. Przystanek autobusowy. Przystanek autobusowy. Bus stop. Gdzie jest najbliższy przystanek autobusowy? Where's the closest bus stop? Gdzie jest najbliższy przystanek 
autobusowy gram 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 jabłko waży 157 gramów the apple weighs 157 grams jabłko waży 157 gramów metr meter metr metr meter Noga dorosłej kobiety ma długość jednego metra. The adult woman's leg measures one meter. Noga dorosłej kobiety ma długość jednego metra. Kilometr. 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 Tutaj można jechać 80 km na godzinę. Here one can drive 80 km per hour. Tutaj można jechać 80 km na godzinę. Ból głowy. Helek. Ból głowy. Ból Głowy. Helek. Zawsze biorę aspirynę na ból głowy. I always take aspirin for headache. Zawsze biorę aspirynę na ból głowy. Biegunka. Diarrhea. Biegunka. Biegunka. Diarrhea. To lekarstwo zatrzyma biegunkę. This medicine will stop the diarrhea. To lekarstwo zatrzyma biegunkę. Objaw. Symptom. Objaw. Objaw. Symptom. Jakie masz objawy? What are your symptoms? Jakie masz objawy? Ból brzucha. Stomachache. Ból brzucha. Ból brzucha. Stomachache. Wczoraj bardzo bolał mnie brzuch. Yesterday I had a bad stomach ache. Wczoraj bardzo bolał mnie brzuch. Myć. Clean. Myć. Myć. Clean. Mężczyzna myje piekarnik. The man is cleaning the oven. Mężczyzna myje piekarnik. Suszyć. Dry. Suszyć. Suszyć. Dry. Najpierw wysusz włosy. Dry your hair first. Najpierw Wysusz włosy. Kusz. Dust. Kusz. Kusz. Dust. Mam alergię na kusz. I'm allergic to dust. Mam alergię na kusz. Odkurzać. Vacuum. Odkurzać. Odkurzać. Vacuum. Mam troje małych dzieci, więc muszę odkurzać codziennie. 
I have three little kids, therefore I have to vacuum every day. Mam troje małych dzieci, więc muszę odkurzać codziennie. Skrzyżowanie. Intersection. Skrzyżowanie. Skrzyżowanie. Intersection. Skręć na skrzyżowaniu Main Street i First Avenue. Turn at a intersection of Main Street and First Avenue. Skręć na skrzyżowaniu Main Street i First Avenue. Autostrada. Highway. Autostrada. Autostrada. Highway. Jeśli pojedziemy tą autostradą, możemy skrócić czas podróży o dwie godziny. If we drive through this highway, it is possible to cut down the traveling time by two hours. Jeśli pojedziemy tą autostradą, możemy skrócić czas podróży o dwie godziny. Droga. Road. Droga. Droga. Road. Mała dziewczynka idzie drogą. The little girl is walking on the road. Mała dziewczynka idzie drogą. Ulica. Street. Ulica. Ulica. Street. Ta ulica jest bardzo długa. This street is very long. Ta ulica jest bardzo długa. Ciekawy. Interesting. Ciekawy. Ciekawy. Interesting. Na spotkaniu przedstawiłeś ciekawy pomysł. That's an interesting idea you presented at the meeting. Na spotkaniu przedstawiłeś ciekawy pomysł. Wredny. Min. Wredny. Wredny. Min. Niektórzy ludzie są po prostu wredni i nie chcą, żeby inni byli szczęśliwi. Some people are just mean and don't want others to be happy. Niektórzy ludzie są po prostu wredni i nie chcą, żeby inni byli szczęśliwi. Znudzony. Bored. Znudzony. Znudzony. Bored. Znudzony ojciec jest gotowy iść do domu. The bored father is ready to go home. Znudzony ojciec jest gotowy iść do domu. 700. 700. 700. 700. 700. Odległość między Moskwą a St. Petersburgiem wynosi 700 km. The distance between Moscow and St. Petersburg is 700 km. Odległość między Moskwą a St. Petersburgiem wynosi 700 km. 800. 800. 800. 800. 
800. Pole ma 800 hektarów. The field is 800 hectares. Pole ma 800 hektarów. 200. 200. 200. 200. 200. Mamy tu ponad 200 książek. We have over 200 books here. Mamy tu ponad 200 książek. 300. 300. 300. 300. 300. Do tej szkoły uczęszcza 300 uczniów. This school has 300 students. Do tej szkoły uczęszcza 300 uczniów. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. Sześć razy sto równa się sześćset. Six times one hundred equals six hundred. Sześć razy sto równa się sześćset. Wynosić. Take out. Wynosić. Wynosić. Take out. Czy możesz wynieść śmieci? Can you take out the trash, please? Czy możesz wynieść śmieci? Kelner. Waiter. Kelner. Kelner. Waiter. Zawołam kelnera. I will call the waiter. Za wołam kelnera. Prognoza pogody. Weather report. Prognoza pogody. Prognoza pogody. Weather report. Sprawdź prognozę pogody, zanim wybierzesz się żeglować. Check the weather report before going sailing. Sprawdź prognozę pogody, zanim wybierzesz się żeglować. Celsius. 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 Dzisiejsza temperatura wynosi 30 stopni Celsjusza. Today's temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Dzisiejsza temperatura wynosi 30 Stopni Celsjusza. Program telewizyjny. TV show. Program telewizyjny. Program telewizyjny. TV show. Widziałeś ten nowy program telewizyjny? Have you seen the new TV show? Widziałeś ten nowy program telewizyjny? Jogging. 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 Zrzuciłem 3 kg, odkąd zacząłem uprawiać Jogging. 
I've lost 3 kilograms since I started jogging. Zrzuciłem 3 kilogramy odkąd zacząłem uprawiać jogging. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Fast food. Hamburgery i frytki są uważane za fast food. Burgers and fries are considered fast food. Hamburgery i frytki są uważane za fast food. Park. 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 Para spaceruje w parku. The couple is walking in the park. Para spaceruje w parku. Sygnalizacja świetlna. Traffic light. Sygnalizacja świetlna. Sygnalizacja świetlna. Traffic light. Dla własnego bezpieczeństwa sprawdź sygnalizację świetlną. For your safety, check the traffic lights. Dla własnego bezpieczeństwa sprawdź sygnalizację świetlną. Znak. Sign. Znak. Znak. Sign. Co oznacza ten znak? What does that sign mean? Co oznacza ten znak? Metro. Subway. Metro. Metro. Subway. Jadę metrem do biura. I take the subway to the office. Jadę metrem do biura. Stacja kolejowa. Train station. Stacja kolejowa. Stacja kolejowa. Train station. Pociąg stoi na stacji kolejowej. The train is at the train station. Pociąg stoi na stacji kolejowej. 500. 500. 500. 500. 500. Pensja wynosi 1500 euro. The pay is 1500 euros. Pensja wynosi 1500 euro. 999. 999. 999. Na wydarzenie kupiliśmy 999 krzeseł. We bought 999 chairs for the event. Na wydarzenie kupiliśmy 999 
krzeseł. 101. 101. 101. 101. 101. Mój wynik to 101. My score was 101. Mój wynik to 101. 400. 400. 400. 400. 400. Ta książka miała 400 stron. The book was 400 pages thick. Ta książka miała 400 stron. 900. 900. 900. 900. 900. Antyczna łyżka miała 900 lat. The antique spoon was 900 years old. Antyczna łyżka miała 900 lat. Cal. Inch. Cal. Cal. Inch. Właśnie kupiłem 40-calowy płaskoekranowy telewizor. I just bought a 40-inch flat screen television. Właśnie kupiłam 40-calowy płaskoekranowy telewizor. Kilogram. 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 Jeden kilogram to tysiąc gramów. One kilogram is one thousand grams. Jeden kilogram to tysiąc gramów. Centymetr. 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 Wieża z monet ma prawie 8 centymetrów. The stacked coins measure almost 8 centimeters. Wieża z monet ma Prawie 8 centymetrów. Want to speak more of your target language? Then you'll need to know more words and phrases. Except the problem is, memorizing word lists is painful and boring. But the good news is you don't have to memorize for hours to boost your vocabulary and speak more. You can glance through our printable visual flashcards and easily master over 1,500 of the most common words. How to learn the 1500 most common words with visual flashcards. And in this guide, you'll discover 1. How to get free access to visual flashcards. 2. How to learn words easily without painful memorization. And 3. Why these flashcards help you acquire words faster than typical word lists or digital flashcards. But first, if you're not a member of our language learning system, which gives you free access to this special resource, then be sure to sign up for a free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account right now. First, what are visual flashcards? Visual flashcards are printable, illustrated flashcards that teach you over 1,500 of the most common words across 60 topics. Just download the PDFs, print them out in two-sided format, Cut out the flashcards and start learning. Now, how can you learn words fast with these flashcards? The best way to learn anything is not to cram or memorize for hours a day, but to go through and review the words for just a few minutes a day every day. That repetition is what locks the language into your memory, and eventually you'll get used to the words like it's your own native language. 
Also, all flashcards include an image for each word, so your brain can easily create a connection between the image and the word and help you remember it better, instead of just relying on text, as is the case with most digital flashcards and word lists. Third, here's how you learn with the visual flashcards. After printing and cutting them out, you can go through the cards and review them for just a few minutes a day. Also, be sure to read the words out loud for speaking practice. You can also test yourself by looking at the meaning and trying to recall the word in the target language. If you don't remember, just flip the card over to get the answer. You can also have a friend test you. And you can place the cards on the objects they represent around your home. So for the card for the window, you can tape that to the window, and you'll quickly memorize the word after seeing it a few times. So if you want to speak more of your target language and add over 1,500 words to your vocabulary, Download our printable visual flashcards right now for free. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account and get free access. If you're a beginner language learner, you've probably already realized just how many words there are that you need to learn, and you already feel overwhelmed by that thought alone. How is it possible to learn thousands of words when you can't remember the few words you learned last week? Well, the good news is, if you're a beginner, you don't need to know thousands to start speaking the language. How to learn the 100 most common words on loop. In this guide, you'll discover 1. Why 100 words is all you need as a beginner. And 2. How to master these 100 words without painful memorization with our free study tools. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. First, why are 100 words all you need as a beginner? Because overwhelming yourself with 1,000 words is not a good way to learn. And because of something called the 80-20 rule, or the Pareto Principle. This states that 80% of your progress and results will come from just 20% of what you've done, meaning you'll get the best results from focusing on a few things instead of trying to do everything. In the case of language, learning the top 100 words helps you understand a lot of the language. So instead of overwhelming yourself by learning all the words, many of which you won't hear in daily conversations, you'll get much better results by focusing on the top 100 words, like you, this, that, today, Friday, and so on. And you can easily learn 100 words in a month if you learn around 3 to 4 words a day every day. In month 2, you can learn 100 more and slowly build your way up. Second, how can you do this? You can learn the 100 most common words with our learning system. When you join, just look for the vocabulary menu and click on 100 most common words in the drop-down menu. This study tool is 100% free for all members. For each word, you get a picture, the audio pronunciation, and an example sentence. You can simply review this list for a few minutes a day. Write the words out in a notebook, or you can use our slideshow tool and master these words without painful memorization. Just click on View Slideshow and sit back and follow along. The slideshow will play one word after the other, along with the audio pronunciation, the meaning, the image, and the example sentence. You can also set it to play the target language only, without the translations. And even better, if you set the slideshow to play on loop, you can keep the words playing non-stop until they're stuck in your brain. Just imagine, you could spend a few days listening to the words on loop, master them all without hard work, and speak a lot of your target language. So, if you want to master the 100 most common words with our free word list and slideshow tool, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you're a beginner language learner, you've probably already realized just how many words there are that you need to learn, and you already feel overwhelmed by that thought alone. How is it possible to learn thousands of words when you can't remember the few words you learned last week? Well, the good news is, if you're a beginner, you don't need to know thousands to start speaking the language. How to learn the 100 most common words on loop. In this guide, you'll discover 1. Why 100 words is all you need as a beginner. And 2. How to master these 100 words without painful memorization with our free study tools. 
But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. First, why are 100 words all you need as a beginner? Because overwhelming yourself with 1,000 words is not a good way to learn. And because of something called the 80-20 rule, or the Pareto Principle. This states that 80% of your progress and results will come from just 20% of what you've done, meaning you'll get the best results from focusing on a few things, instead of trying to do everything. In the case of language, learning the top 100 words helps you understand a lot of the language. So instead of overwhelming yourself by learning all the words, many of which you won't hear in daily conversations, you'll get much better results by focusing on the top 100 words, like you, this, that, today, Friday, and so on. And you can easily learn 100 words in a month if you learn around three to four words a day every day. In month two, you can learn 100 more and slowly build your way up. Second, how can you do this? You can learn the 100 most common words with our learning system. When you join, just look for the vocabulary menu and click on 100 most common words in the drop-down menu. This study tool is 100% free for all members. For each word, you get a picture, the audio pronunciation, and an example sentence. You can simply review this list for a few minutes a day. Write the words out in a notebook, or you can use our slideshow tool and master these words without painful memorization. Just click on View Slideshow and sit back and follow along. The slideshow will play one word after the other, along with the audio pronunciation, the meaning, the image, and the example sentence. You can also set it to play the target language only, without the translations. And even better, if you set the slideshow to play on loop, you can keep the words playing nonstop until they're stuck in your brain. Just imagine, you could spend a few days listening to the words on loop, master them all without hard work, and speak a lot of your target language. So, if you want to master the 100 most common words with our free word list and slideshow tool, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to read the fast and easy way with extensive reading. Is reading in your target language hard for you? Do you have to stop and look up words every other second? If so, then you're probably avoiding reading because it can be hard when you're going about it the wrong way. And it's a shame because reading improves your language overall and by avoiding it, you're slowing down your own progress. Luckily, there is an easy way to master reading, even if you're a beginner and even if you've struggled before. And today, you'll discover two things you need to make reading easy, all about the extensive reading learning strategy and six ways to practice reading with our program. But first, if you're looking for new free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Learning to Cook Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn all the must-know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, how to talk about your weekend. If you can't talk about your weekend plans, then this one minute lesson will get you speaking. You'll learn the must know phrases like sleep, hang out with friends, play video games, and much more. Fourth, how to count from zero to 100. Do you know how to count from one to 10? How about to 100? 
This quick word list will get you mastering numbers in just a minute. Fifth, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. Do you know all of these verbs? If not, this lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to read the fast and easy way with extensive reading. You've probably tried reading a book in your target language before. Maybe you bought a book and thought you could learn from it, and chances are it's now sitting on a shelf. What happened? Most likely there were too many words you didn't know. You had to stop and look each one up, and you gave up. Reading in a new language can be tough if you approach it the wrong way. But it's a powerful skill that you shouldn't ignore, because reading spills into other areas as well. You'll learn words and grammar patterns much easier through reading than anything else, and this will improve your speaking skills as well. Also, reading is something you can do without a teacher, on your own time and on your own terms, which makes it an easy skill to practice. So how can you make it easier? There are two tricks to making reading easier. First, the two things you need to make reading easy. First, you need level-appropriate reading material. The books you struggled with were likely not for your level, and if you had something for your level, you wouldn't need a dictionary every five seconds. Where can you get level-appropriate reading material? Just look for our extensive reading books on the site. And, by the way, extensive reading is a learning strategy where you read as many level-appropriate books as possible, skip over words you don't know, and keep on reading. The goal here is quantity. You improve because of all the books you go through. And these books are super simple. At the beginner levels, just a line or two per page. And if this sounds like a book for elementary school kids, then you're right. If you're brand new to reading, then that's your level. At intermediate and advanced levels, they're much more complex, with stories and many words on the pages. But if you're brand new and if you've just learned the alphabet, then the absolute beginner ones are perfect for you. Now, what about the second trick? The second trick is, you need to use text and audio at the same time. Why? So you can listen and follow along. You know how to pronounce every word, and on your second read-through, you'll be able to read it all without the audio, because you've already heard the words. The good news is, all of our reading lessons on our site give you the text and audio, so you can easily read, follow along, and hear the pronunciation. So, now that you know the two tricks, you still have to implement them, right? Well, here's how. Part 2. Six ways to practice reading with our program. Remember, you need two things. One, level-appropriate reading material, and two, a combination of text and audio, so you can listen and follow along. You get that with all of our lessons on the site, including our extensive reading books. So, the first way to improve your reading is, read the extensive reading books that are appropriate for your level. You'll find them in your lesson library. We have books for all levels, absolute beginner, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. The goal of extensive reading is to read as much as possible, skip words you don't know, and keep going. To make it even easier, these books come with audio and line-by-line -line breakdown and translations, so you can follow along with the audio and never miss a word. By the way, you can print these books out, so you can keep them and review them at any time. The second way is, read the line-by-line -line dialogues for every lesson you take. The line-by-line -line dialogue is just a breakdown of the lesson conversation, where you get the translation, transliteration, and audio for each of the lines. With this tool, you can just read the text or combine text and audio and listen and follow along. The third way is print out the lesson notes and review the lesson dialogue. Having the printed physical material is a lot easier than logging in and looking for the notes for a certain lesson. But you can always read the lesson notes on the site, too. The fourth way to practice reading is, if you're learning a language that requires romanization, like Japanese, Hebrew, or Korean, and if you're a lower level, then read the romanized version. Yes, it's a bit of a crutch, but you can easily see how the words are written and pronounced. Then, switch over to the target language and reread. You can do this with all of our lessons with the dialogue tool. The fifth way, ask your Premium Plus teacher for reading assignments, and you'll get these weekly. 
One helpful trick is to record yourself reading out loud and send that to your teacher. They'll correct your pronunciation and provide feedback. The sixth way is the most important one and will give you the biggest bang for your buck. The sixth tactic is reread again and again. Whether you're using our extensive reading books, the dialogue, or anything else, reading once is not enough. Coming back to reread is how you start reading faster. It's how you remember all those words for good, and it's how you start understanding everything at a glance. So go ahead and visit our site and look for the extensive reading books. You can access them for free with a free lifetime account. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to speak more with your personal language learning profile. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.